Groups are speaking out in support of the Austin school bond. They're growing by the day, but those against it are demanding a lot of answers. Our Aaron Cargyle has a closer look at both sides of this debate. Three words from those who hope Austin passes the biggest school bond in city history, the mayor. We need to step up and vote for all of the bonds. The teachers union. We need schools to be repaired. Parents. We need to do this for our children. And several chambers of commerce standing behind it. Kathy Lynn Brown voted yes Monday. I have one child at Murkison Middle School and I have two at Anderson High School. Her husband is on the same page. And that cafeteria at Murkison is exactly the same now as it was in the 70s when he attended. Roger Falk also voted in the school bond election. They're very unnecessary. He agrees some of the expansion projects are needed, but argues tacking on repair work. Like the bad roof at Murkison Middle School shows a larger issue with AISD. They have $400 million in reserves, $230 million in unissued but approved bonds currently, and they have another $170 million in reserve. And they're pointing out a leaky roof. Get real. They have the money to fix that roof. The member of the Travis County Taxpayers Union also questions the motives behind those funding the political action committee behind this message. Look who's paying for those slick mailers and signs. It's not the PTA. It's not AISD. It's these contractors that stand to gain from all of this spending. It's Aaron Cargyle reporting. Parents who support the bond are raising their eyebrows at a member of the opposition. He stepped in front of the camera to speak several times about it, but can't even cast his vote at the polls. We'll tell you why tonight at 6 o'clock. Now we want to give you a little closer look at what's on this ballot. Proposition 1 calls for more than $140 million in bonds. That money would upgrade school cafeterias and food service. It would also pay for energy conservation improvements and new school buses. Prop 2 adds up to nearly $234 million. It would pay to build three new elementary schools. The bonds would also fund safety and security improvements. Prop 3 calling for $349 million. Most of the money would pay for repairs and renovations at campuses across the AISD. This bond would also fund library improvements in the district. Prop Four would fund changes to create a boys' school in the district. It also includes money to fi for fine arts programs as well as PE and athletics. Election Day, by the way, May 11th. 